I, I was watching you in the early days, long before my first love letter, and I thought, that man's brave. You had a lot of early courage. God, it's, you were right. You were absolutely right. How many people do you reckon are here? Well, it's hard to uh, get an accurate number, but I'm, I'm going to be bold, and I'm going to say about 50,000. I heard driving down on RNZ about 1,000. Well, we've got 742 tents here, right? Oh Not God. everybody's staying here. You've got people staying in hotels. Uh, we have no idea how many cars we have. Uh, we're running out of space. We've got all of Thorndon Key filling up. Uh, Molesworth is all filled up. I mean, you, any road that you can think of, uh, the car park yeah. behind uh, Parliament yeah. is full. And it keeps filling up. And Brad, you made a lot of predictions in the early days that people poo-pooed, but they've all come true. What do you predict from all this now? Can she stop this amount of love and and universal support among Kiwis. Can she stop this now? Well, not only she, not only can she not stop it, the military can't stop it, yep. the police don't want to stop it. Nobody's going to stop this. The only people that are going to stop this is us. If you think that you're going to get a negotiation out of us, that's exactly right. But you're going to have to give us some stuff. Let's yep. be honest here. You've lost the roads, you've lost the bus stop, you've lost the grounds, you've lost the car parks, you've lost your credibility, you've lost everything. If you want to get any of it back, you're going to have to give us some stuff. And I'm telling you right now, Liz, she's going to have to give a lot because criminals, they don't get a pass. Yeah, and she has not even come down the steps. Not one of them has come down and met the people. I've been wearing this driving down. Everybody through the country is going love the t-shirt. I love that So absolutely, so she has lost the heart of the people. I really believe that. What is gonna happen from here? Because they're not looking for violence, this group. They are beautiful, it's clean, it's family orientated. All those lies on media, yep. it doesn't add up when you come here. It's love, isn't it? It yes. is, it's absolutely it's, love. We are seeing a new kind of New Zealand birth, yep. I reckon, Brad. Yep, I, I've always believed that New Zealand would be the first domino to fall. And it's yep. going to fall because of our unbelievable, passionate love for one another. Yes. We're going to hold the line. Yep. Nobody's going to push this line over. You had one chance, you failed, and then everyone came and they're holding through. You guys, if you want, if you want any sort of, what's the word, compassion from us, come out and talk to us. Democracy is a conversation. If you keep refusing to have the conversation, then you're offending democracy. Brad, you're extraordinary. It's, are you very excited? Is your, is your heart full being here? It hasn't stopped. So just as we were leaving, you dropped this absolute truth bomb on me, which is so beautiful, because looking at common law, natural law, yep. it's all about this inner morality that humans have. So yep. tell me what you were just articulating, Brad. Yeah, moral objectivism. So. Uh, one of the biggest things that we need to do is we, and I'm a big believer in Jordan Peterson's words on this, we don't hold truth, we pursue truth. And the closer we pursue truth, the closer we, uh, we, we vibrate along that, that line of consciousness. And, and what we end up doing is we end up solving more problems than we create. If we, if we warp reality with lies, we end up making more problems than we solve. And all of a sudden, everyone, all they're doing is marketing the problem and not addressing it. That's so beautifully put. And someone said to me, mainstream media is falling over in front of our eyes, oh, yeah. lying all that the news way. news hub stuff walls falling they over. They have got to stop lying. They've yeah. got to come to the people. If they want to keep their business, they're, they're, they're going to have to stop. They're going to have to tell yeah. the truth. Yeah. And this, this Prime Minister, is she capable ever of doing that, do you think? Hard to tell. Would have to get her in the room with me and see see how that goes. Yeah, meet us on the steps. Yep, I would need 13 men and women to yeah. meet her and them. give her our terms. All right. Yeah. If she meets our terms, then maybe we'll be lenient. If not, it's straight to the high court, common law. You're done. Why do you say 13? I love 12. What's your 13? I like 12 too. My yeah. cousin seem. My cousin is the. Uh, the, the man that does all of the hard out research and provides me with all my information, he reckons 13. Beautiful. But I, I would say 12, you know, I've yeah. read 12 rules for life. 12 is my favorite number. Yeah. But um, I'll have to ask my cousin why he thinks ask 13. Ask him if he's worried that in the 13 there would be a Judas. We've had a Judas, we yes. don't need another one. I think that's She's what he's worried about. Us. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, Brad. Yeah. Lovely. Thank beautiful. you. Thank you.